convicted rapist and murderer Earl Raymond Diggs escapes from prison shortly before his scheduled execution. He steals a car, robs a bank, and flees across the Arizona desert, headed toward the Mexican border. A motorcycle cop pursues Diggs and crashes his bike into Diggs' getaway car, destroying both vehicles and forcing them to continue their chase on foot. A vulture shows interest in both men after taking notice of the explosion. It annoys Diggs repeatedly, but also seems to point the way for the cop. Diggs finds a sign advertising a cantina, but when he reaches the building, he finds it empty and abandoned. The cop catches up to Diggs, and during a struggle, he handcuffs their wrists together. Diggs shoots the cop with his own gun, but the cop swallows the key to the cuffs before he dies. With the gun now empty and no way to remove the cuffs, Diggs is forced to carry and drag the cop's body toward the border, constantly shooing off the vulture as heat and fatigue take their toll on him. He reaches the top of a line of hills that marks the border. I can't believe it! Mexico! A friendly neighbor to the south! But the corpse pulls away from him, making him lose his balance and tumble down on the American side. In desperation, Diggs fashions a hatchet from a piece of wood and the cop's badge, and tries to cut off the cop's hand so he can free himself. However, Diggs' vision has blurred from exposure to the desert, and he accidentally hacks partway through his own wrist. Diggs stumbles backwards and ends up hanging over the edge of a rock formation by the cuffs, falling to the bottom when his hand snaps off from the weight. Diggs finds that the fall has broken his neck and left him paralyzed. The vulture, seeing that Diggs can no longer defend himself, finally swoops down and eats him, starting by plucking out his eyes. Ah! 